The Tale of Old Brown's Feather. Pickles sell the best buns! Yeah! Uh, what? Hey! Oh, a stick! <laughs> <laughs> a stock stick! The best and the stickiest! Florence, I don't want you to go anywhere near them. <laughs> Lucky I brought along. Uh, my dad's umbrella! There's no way my bun's getting soggy. Hey, where are you two going? We're not going anywhere. You are. Benjamin! Whoa! Oh. Let's go off the handle, Benjamin. Uh. Uh. I can't. My hand's too sticky. Help! Benjamin! <gasps> uh. 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 Benjamin! What's that? Who's there? I thought I saw a flying rabbit. How, how ridiculous. Ah! Oh, tail feathers. It is a flying rabbit and a noisy one at that. How dare you pick me up? Help me! Benjamin, we'll save you. He's too high. He's calling. Stop tugging my tail, you foolish thing! Tail feathers! My tail feather! Benjamin, quick! <laughs> Think you can take one of my tail feathers and get away with it, do ya? I'm sorry, old Brown. It was an accident. I was trying to save my friend. Ha! You'd better find my tail feather, Peter Rabbit, or I'll do more than chase you and your furry friends. Where is it? What if we paint a leaf to look like a feather, give it back to Old Brown and run away again? I don't think so, Benjamin. He's pretty angry. Just keep looking. We've got to find that feather. Aha! Wait a second. The wind's blowing in that direction. I know that for a fact, which means Old Brown's feather must have blown that way too. Towards Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's laundry. That's where we'll find it. Let's hop to it. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle! Oh, tickle my nose. Do you young rabbits ever stop for breath? <laughs> Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, we need that feather. What feather? Uh, 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 choo! Got it! <gasps> yes! Oh, 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 look, my spines. Where did that come from? Phew! This calls for a celebration. Sticky bun, anyone? Mm, mm, mm. My lovely, sugary, sticky bun. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to get my paws on that bun. <gasps> I think we'd better return the feather to Old Brown first, Benjamin. Oh, no! After it! Line up, line up! Let's see who's ticklish! <laughs> yep, you are next! <laughs> okay, that worked. Who's next? Peter! Welcome to Tickle Parade! Woo! It's kind of a new thing, but I'm sure it'll catch on. Uh, we need that feather looking. It's important. Well, why so serious? <gasps> what you need is a little laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> <look in>. <laughs> <laughs> Nuckin, listen. <laughs> Start 
sorted yet. I know! <laughs> Popping hazelnuts! Give that back! It's my favourite thing in the whole world! Uh, it belongs to Old Brown and he wants it back. <laughs> Who needs a feather? <laughs> it's all yours. Rabbits! I know you're here somewhere. Where's my feather? <laughs> oh, no! Not again! <laughs> Off you go! No time to lose, you best be on your way! Sammy Whiskers. Oh, nothing much. Mm, just that sticky bun. <gasps> Never! <laughs> Shame. Sounds like that owl's still looking for his feather. Oh, well. Wait! Hmm? Go on. Take it. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding about the sticky part. <laughs> 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 Aren't you forgetting something? The feather? Hmm? Oh, that. Uh, no, I think I'll hold on to it for a while. If you want it so much, why don't you get me another sticky bun? What? Or two. That's not fair. Hmm. Hey, Sammy. We hmm? don't have any more sticky buns, but how about we trade an umbrella for that feather? You don't want your sticky bun getting wet in the rain, do you? Mm, yeah, all right then. I suppose I've had my fun for one day. Sticky. Mm. <sighs> Give it here. Let me help you with that. Hmm? <laughs> hey, uh, what's happening? Uh, might need some help here. <laughs> Peter. <coughs> now, let's return this feather and get that grumpy owl off our backs. <sighs> there you are. Uh, we got your tail feather back, old Brown. Uh, sorry for all the trouble. <coughs> Ha! What good is it to me now? It won't stay on! Oh, you bothersome bunnies! I'm a feather sort of a full tail! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh no! He'll never stop chasing us now! Rotten rabbits! Ah! <laughs> Not unless we can magically make his tail feather grow back! Hey! We don't need magic. We've got the stickiest bun in the world. Hey, Old Brown! Ooh, gotcha! Uh, hey, that sticky icing ought to hold it. Come on! My fabulous feathers back on my beautiful behind. <laughs> Good as new. Ooh. 
Aren't you going to eat your sticky bun now, Benjamin? Nah, it smells like rats and owls. I think I'll leave it for the birds. In that case, what do you say we go back to Ginger and Pickle shop to get us a new one? I think we've earned it. Ah! Aha! It's a long way to go in the rain. Good thing I found this then. <gasps> The umbrella! Hey! Get me down! Hey! Ah, at least bring me a bun back from the shop, would you? Ha! Ah, rabbits! <laughs> I'm OK. The Tale of the Fierce Bad Rabbit One day... Peter, sit down. Let me tell the story. One day, a nice, gentle rabbit popped her head out of the woods. Hello, birds. Hello, sky. Ah, what a lovely world this is, said the nice, gentle rabbit, and sniffed the air. Oh, my, what is that glorious smell? asked the rabbit. I have never smelled anything so delicious. And then she saw them. Oh, joy! What juicy dandelions are these? She had never tasted anything so delicious. Because these weren't just any old dandelions. Mmm. These are the sweetest dandelions in the whole world. Hang on. I know where that dandelion field is. Let's go there. Uh, not so fast, Peter. The story hasn't finished. I've heard all I need to hear. Just then, the sun disappeared from the sky. <gasps> the nice, gentle rabbit saw two ginormous ears. So big, they blocked out the sun. So she ran for her life. <laughs> what was that? The fierce, bad rabbit. Who's that? <laughs> he guards the sweetest dandelions in the whole world, of course. The meanest, worst, most horrible rabbit you'll ever meet. He's so mean and so horrible that no rabbit ever goes near those dandelions. <gasps> well, I'm going to get some. You wouldn't. You shouldn't. You can't! Just watch me. <laughs> Come on! Do we have to? I mean, uh, I would, but... You're not scared, are you? Benjamin's scared. Scared? Tuh. No way! Delicious <laughs> dandelions! <laughs> Come on, Benjamin. It'll be fun. Ah, uh, coming you two? Nuh-uh. No way. Ah, oh, well, suit yourself. <laughs> uh... Hey, Peter, wait for us! Dandelions, here we come! <laughs> what does it mean? Hmm, fierce teeth. Angry eyes means danger. I know that for a fact. <laughs> the fierce bad rabbit must be this way. We need to find those dandelions. Let's hop to it. <laughs> rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave.
It's fine. <laughs> Cottontail! No! <laughs> It didn't just break. This rope's been cut. Cut a rope? No, cut himself. Cut rope. It's not good. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Who would cut the rope? Maybe it was the fierce bad rabbit. Well, we tried. I'm going home. No way. A good rabbit never gives up. Let's keep going. <laughs> Look! <gasps> uh, why are those rocks moving all by themselves? It's the fierce bad rabbit moving them. This way, quick! Uh, uh... <laughs> Come on! I can't, it's stuck! And tail. Hmm. I know we can work this out. Stand back, everyone. Why don't we all push? Great idea. Rabbit? <laughs> you're a. You're a. a <laughs> what are you? You've never seen a shrew before? I'll have you know, I am the tiniest creature in the forest. <laughs> like a mouse, but smaller. You may be small, 
But you're still a bully. You cut the road bridge and you push those rocks. So what if I did? Those dandelions are mine. <laughs> That's not true. They belong to everyone. Flopsy was right. You are me. You're the worst, most horrible shrew ever. <laughs> You should learn to share. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Cottontail. Sharing is a good thing. Nonsense! I'll never share them. Never! <laughs> we should have stuck together. We should always stick together. What would Peter do? We'll just have to go after them. You're right. We have to go after them. <gasps> Cottontail! What's happened? Are you okay? D did you see his face? What did the fierce bad rabbit look like? Well, he wasn't a rabbit after all. He was a shrew. A shrew? Like a mouse, only smaller. So what else happened? I'll tell you all on the way home. So after I found Cottontail, we fell into a hole and we were trapped by the fierce bad rabbit who actually turned out to be a shrew. The funniest thing about the shrew is that he was talking into a hollow log to make his voice sound really, really deep. Give me back my dandelion. <laughs> <laughs>